What's up, guys? So, <clears throat> I just went through some of my comments on my community page, and I saw that I had, which I just learned how to see or to pay attention to. I thought I got notifications for just about everything, and I don't for community. Um, so, with that, um, I saw that there were questions about commander skills set up. Okay. Right now, I am set up for out. Troop training, I don't always go all the way down here to that, um, but it was void and I killed off a ton of my troops, so it's a good way. Um, this is my monster setup, monster resource build research. Depends on what you know your priority is going to be, but I always do all recall. Always I do my five battle flag. And then my best, which is ranged attack. You know, attack, if you're going to have to choose an attack, you're going to want to choose the best one. And then all recall. That way, in any emergency, I can get all my troops home. Then I'll do build speed, load increase, because you have to, ton lock. Food, you always have, you never need. You do your harvest, so you go down with oil because you don't need food. You have to do your five research and your depot capacity. Now, if you're doing a lot of monster killing, you're going to go and do all three of these. Okay, and then again, do oil output to get down. You got your build speed, load increase, and then I'll do this. If I'm doing monsters, I'll do the other two. And then if I gotta go further down because I wanna add more research time, most cases I don't. Most cases, um, production's not important to me in uh, a main account, but it does make a huge difference, um, especially in your 24 hour harvest. Plus this is good for two hours. Um, gives you 100% production or gathering speed on top of you already have a 50% um, that you can get in the store or you win tons of them and then you also have your um, your commander skills so when it is time to fight this is how I set things up okay ranged is the best killer okay um, hands down um, mid-ranged I have not found where you could set it up for the mid-range to be your prominent killer it always comes down to the long range in battle in this game again it's it's mirrored and reversed okay so there's not as you can't control the march as easily as um, say war and order um, for a complicated algorithm, complicated formation, um, as opposed to like Game of War was or Vikings, where it's just simple, it's statistics, it's all in one, and the battle doesn't change based on multivariables, it, it changes based on who spends more money and has the higher skills. Okay, so... I always go with the long range attack when I'm going with attack. Now, for HP... I'll go with my melee because the longer they stand up, the longer I have for my long range and some of my mid range if I have to unload on my opponent. And if I can knock down their front line before my front line, which front line's your melee, um, I capitalize that battle easily. Okay, so long range HP is good to have um, if you're going to have a majority of a of long range like I do, but um, the, if, you, if you're doing a one, one, like one of every front line, one of every mid line, if you're doing mass attacks like that and then everything back line, then you're going to want your long range HP because it makes your long range stronger because you're not going to have but one of every front line and mid line. And when, when you're doing mass attacks and in a younger realm where most castles are small, you don't need a heavy front line. But if you're using front line, you want to strengthen your front line. So you'll see melee HP, melee defense. Okay, I don't skill the mid range because they are not prominent in any way. If they were, then I would do the mid-range HP first, then mid-range defense. So I would do mid-range HP, melee defense, um, wounded capacity, battle flag. Again, long-range attack would get maxed out, fast expansion, fleet speed. Then back to, I would probably add to the melee HP, even with my mid-range in there, um, 
because the longer, again, that the front line stands up, it protects your mid-range and your back line. Um, and it's not so much for protection because in this battle, in this game, everything's getting attacked simultaneously. So there are, um, from your wall defenses, if you're attacking another castle, their wall defenses have missiles and guns and that hit all different lines. And then you have um, different troops that have different special bonuses that will hit all different lines. So not it doesn't work where your front line has to go down before they get to your middle line or your back line. Your front line and your back line are, and your middle line all are getting hit at the same time um, at different times, but nobody's nobody's undercover, just somewhat undercover. So, but front line is the main target that all the main firepower is focused on until it goes down. Then everything is focused on the middle, then the ranged. So you still need your strong front. So if you're going to get take defenses in your castle, a really strong front line is the best thing to have. So you're going to want to skill according to that. If you're only back line and that's all you care about, you're going to want to send all your skills, your HP, your defense, because that way they can take more hits before they die. And the more you have firing per turn, every time you have a turn to fire, the more count you have firing, the more you kill. And then the higher your attack with the more are firing, the more it, it multiplies and kills. So I hope that if you play this back a couple of times, you can understand what I'm saying. So if I'm going to go and worry about my defense, I'm still going to go long range attack. If I'm just going to be a defender, small account defender, <clears throat> Then we go recall, obviously. Melee, HP, fleet speed, melee, defense, wounded capacity, um, battle flag. I don't even skill my officers for mid range attack. Um, I'd rather just have front line and back line. I still put the mid range for defensive purposes because then it's just extra kills or an extra decoy for the opponent to have to kill. Then I'll go another 20 on the long range attack. And it's still the same basic, you know, you have to do your fleet speed and then melee HP again. Um, I do have SOS. And then I'll do even more melee defense. If you make those damn melees like a, a rock wall, even though your, your ranged are still going to get hit on occasions, if your front line is staying standing, the majority of the battle power is going, or the firepower from the opponent is going to your melee, and you're keeping your counts of ranged up and unobstructed, and you're just unloading on them. So it can be a huge stack attack on you. And your front line stays standing for that long. Your range just have that huge window to kill. So I hope that helps you understand. Um, wounded capacity is always great. That works in percentages. So whatever your base wounded cap is from your med tents and everything. Um, go hand in hand and it's multiplied by a percentage. You know, because you can use your... Advanced Medicine, your Brave Star. Um, I put on the Fuel Up and Comprehension. Um, the Wounded Ratio I wasn't uh, too concerned about in the beginning because the troops were, you know, not going to matter later down the road. But getting my Lord level up did. I'm now a Lord level 39, and that allows me to have more skills, and that makes something available that other players won't have. Even a Spender that doesn't even spend smart and efficiently, might have great commander officers, um, but they might still be stuck with a lower uh, commander level. Um, but yeah, so you, you make your, with your skills, you make everything go hand in hand. Like this Tifa and Aeon, you're gonna use all the time. You're always gonna have those on because you're the advanced kill um, is attack on everything in every circumstance. Advanced Melee Mastery, that gives you all three from attack, defense, and HP on your front line. Um, advanced Attack, you're only going to use when you're attacking except for your special skills. They apply all the time. And since mine are pretty strong, I pretty much use that one all the time too. Advanced Endurance, that's all all different times. You have higher defense and HP, so that's one that you're going to always have on. 
Um, and then guard weakness and precise shot. If they're strong, but that also, in every circumstance, you take less damage if you're wearing Alexandria, um, and you put out more damage if you're wearing Zeus. Uh, advanced defense, that's something like you go to bed with. Maybe you put some good skills on it, and you can take your advanced attack off. Um, but there's different ways to arrange. If I'm going heavy kill kill, I might put her on in place of my um, endurance. You see? Um, so there's a correlation, a way to put everything in line. <coughs> um, strategy, you know, your training, she is important. You always, you know, you need to focus on her, not so much him because you don't get that much percentage off of him. You want to focus mainly on your purple officers. So with all the skills, um, available, there's multiple different ways to do things, but to do it in the best path and efficiency is what I try to explain here. Thanks for watching. There's also, you know, the extension components. I've done videos on these. I'll do some more. Um, keep on growing, guys, and, um, you know, do your best. Check out all my videos, everything. I, I try and cover everything, so you might I might cover something or a part of something in another video that you'll be able to correlate with another video. So I, I truly appreciate everybody um, subscribing and uh, the loyalty and the, the interest. Um, thank you for watching.